Atlantics is a film that doesn't want you to just see Senegal. It wants you to listen. A large part of the film is dedicated to long takes of the setting with natural sounds in the background. Just listen to the sequence from different parts of the film. Those are all different scenes, but they're connected by the sound of the ocean present throughout the film as if the ocean follows us, demanding our attention, just like the deceased in this film who drown. In film, it's often a convention to invent new sounds to convey an ideal feeling, but Atlantics, in documentary style, wants you to hear the local sounds of animals, construction sites, and people. Senegal. Just the way that it is. This style humanizes people and naturalizes the setting, especially for audiences that are new to African cinema. It explores migration, class exploitation and youth revolt as real issues rather than fiction. It unravels the dynamics of Senegalese life inside and out. Viewers feel closer to the setting, like we're part of the story, following its characters and subject to their environment. All we need to do is listen. Even at the end of the film, the credits continue the subtle roar of the sea. The director of Atlantic's Mati Diop explains that the intention was to create a documentary feel. And it was a, a big challenge because Fatima's music is um, extremely uh, mental, is okay, but can be also very cold and very um, metallic. And once I finished the shooting, I started to go through the rush with my editor. And at the beginning, I was really afraid that it was going to, to dominate the characters too much, to sound a little too intentional, a fantasy film, ta -da, with a, a too intentional and obvious fantasy soundtrack on it. And uh, so it took us a while to find the right, um, the right balance between the very concrete documentary aspect of the film and but she's uh, she's she's uh, she's magic. She's she's extremely talented. The ocean in Atlantics is both the calm and the restless. It's where the film's lovers embrace and where the destitute are drowned. And much like the growing presence of African cinema, it won't be ignored. <laughs> 